What up guys, welcome back to Empire Toys 1138 where on this video we're going to be going through reshelving the shelves behind me. Okay guys, so um, I have to level with you. I completely screwed up this video. So one rule, don't drink on YouTube because you end up with a funny video like this. So basically I am reshelving these behind me. I've already done it as you can see behind me. Uh, I did do a long intro, I did everything. I did everything like I normally do. And I basically forgot to like film a whole segment of it. So if you do see this video and it is a bit like cut and paste here, there's no, all the continuity errors are really bad. The time scales are out. Really sorry, it was my fault again don't drink and YouTube anyway guys I'm gonna take you through a tutorial on how to put Riyadh the shelves behind me back in check out the video So we're going to be attaching the shelf now. So the parts it comes with is that it comes with the plastic bracket to hold it. it comes with a bolt and a screw. Now it took me a while to work out how. I had to get uh, Andy involved to show me how to do it. So basically you've got two sides here, a bigger square and a smaller rectangle, I should say, not square. All it is, is that the bolt goes into the bigger side. It'll only fit in one way. Be very careful, because if you do tip it upside down, as you can see, it can fall out. So you've got to make sure that's secure. And then all you've got to do is put it onto your shelf, like so. And then have it in a roughly where you want it to be. Now I want all the shelves to be in a line just to deal with my OCD so hopefully that's about it so you just stick the screw through to the bolt yeah. the screwdriver tight it, tight it to press it together a little bit just so it starts going in and as you can slowly start seeing it will start bending and then we can move it around like that because it's not going anywhere it's going to be a little lower and then there we can tighten it a bit much so it won't move and then we can move on to the next one and obviously we'll need them in all four corners I've gone and joined I've gone with the uh, bracket side so this long bit here is on the inside but you can work it so it's on the outside or even if you want it to go as so I don't know how much of a difference it makes it doesn't come with any sort of instructions for when I order them so it's kind of a bit of a you've got to sort of work it out yourself so that's what I thought I'll mention in the video how to fix the bracket on because it took me a while and I have to ask Andy for help so there you go that's how you fix it on so we're going to go through the other four do it now quickly and then we can start putting some toys back on the shelf. So shelf number two is in very, very, uh, I'm not too sure how level it is, but it, it seems to be. There's not any sort of wobbling, which is good, which is good. 
so as you can see I did check it earlier we'll grab this plasma pug just about fits in there not too much room to play so it might be tricky getting everything in there and then also the uh, could have gone a little bit lower I guess but it just gives you room to play so you can see the Canaralium, no, sorry, the Necaralium fits in really nicely in there, but it's at the same level, so it sort of works with that. I think it might be a little bit too high up looking at it, but oh well, okay, let's have some fun filling it. actually did have to rearrange around it because I forgot to put our tax in so I rearranged it a little bit and it fits a little bit better I've lost a couple of the preds and there we go again the light at the top it loses it it's a bit disappointing I think definitely definitely I think it would have looked good if it was probably maybe on like the middle shelf like down here maybe it might have let more light in but definitely think it works it definitely looks so you put a bit of glare there it's all right So guys as you can see I've finished putting the shelf in so what I've gone for has gone for another loosey bit at the bottom stuff that can fit so I've managed to move all my Jurassic Park stuff up from the bottom I've put this on the only turtle toy that I own the little footballing Ralph uh, Raphael there I've put him up I've put the mask rider up there gizmo toy scavs VHS box set for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and then what I've done is that the marble shelf has moved up one because uh, of obviously the size difference. So I've got the uh, Spider-Man figures with the purple back at the back, some Mara stuff, some Deathstrokes, Deadpool, Taskmaster, and a few of the Lego stuff in there. This is now a new shelf, so this has now become the big Starship Troopers. So as you can see, the, the bigger um, figures that I've never had the chance to display have come out. These are such do obviously these are such awesome figures and I'm just cool I have the whole set here you can see there's one sitting behind there another ace but I preferred the uh, bright green one and then down here it's become I've sort of this was on the bottom stuff uh, you've got another death stroke in there because he won't fit in the top shelf demolition man unfortunately the Jurassic Park figure the box one won't fit in that um, top shelf with the other dinosaurs which is a bit of a shame but um, that's the one thing about those shelves and putting them and dividing this up you gain more space but in reality you're only getting one level of um boxed figures and the, the the level on top has to be lucy's that fit and unfortunately the transformers have been relegated to the bottom shelf now 
but they're pretty tall so you can still sort of see them and everything thank you very much guys i hope that helps you put your shelves up i look forward to seeing the pictures so make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button check out toy division and i'll see you in the next episode